Okay, we're back again for another episode of Teas and Treasures. And I've got Gia with me once again. <laughs> she's, she's my other half with this. Okay, I know you want your tree. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. We're going to start right in. This is going to be a short little video. Um, what I wanted to go over was a company that I actually heard about from... Um, Tea Leaf Project. If you haven't checked out Stephanie on Tea Leaf Project, check her out on YouTube. She's just phenomenal. She has a tremendous amount of videos. She does a lot of different tea companies, a lot of David's Tea, but a lot of different tea companies. And she had been raving about a tea uh, that was made by Just Tea. This isn't the tea. The one that she was raving about is the chocolate one, which I'm gonna go over in one minute. But this one um, is an African blend. Okay, where's my glasses? Hold on just one sec. Okay, and this one is um, Kenyan black tea, China black tea, and Assam black tea. So it's a combination of all three. It's really great. It's called African Breakfast. And I kind of wonder, I'm not really sure. It's got a wonderfully smooth fragrance of black tea. I know that Harney has one called African Antlers. I, it may be a completely different tea, but that one's always sold out too, so I don't know. This one hasn't been sold out that I know of, but um, and it may have been, but you might want to try this tea company. Um, it's a very smooth tea. It Let me show you what it steeps like so you can see it. This is the color, okay. very smooth not malty I would not go malty I would say it's extremely smooth so if you like a smooth black tea that could handle creamer or sugar or sweetener whatever that's a really good option and it is called just tea and I wish that I had remembered uh, it's Farmer Direct I know that they're very conscious tea company and one of the things that I remembered uh, she mentioned she said that they're purple tea, which is not a common tea. It's, it's a very high antioxidant tea. I think it's, I don't know how long it's been out, you know, where people are getting into purple tea, but uh, it's a little bit more rare that you hear about it. But she had said it was the best chocolate tea she ever had, and I would wholeheartedly agree. I've had a lot of chocolate teas now, and this one, it's really, really, uh, I, I want to say rich fragrance wise and taste wise not like hot chocolate though although if you put creamer in it or you do a latte with it you're gonna feel like you're drinking hot chocolate um, I always get these little things from my dog <laughs> uh, it's a loose leaf purple tea and it's called purple chocolate very low caffeine uh, they, it's gotten awards for product of the year new product innovation uh, they're just very conscious this company so what I wanted to say about this is um, I'm, I'm trying to find it sweet and smooth organic cacao shells Kenyan purple tea rose petals that's it and this is what it looks like I know you know you guys know I don't care what it looks like it's the taste this really is a great tea and um, if you like chocolate. The rose to me doesn't come through like florally. It just kind of helps blend probably the tea and the cacao shells because it's it's very smooth and you cannot tell there's rose petals in here. I don't know. But anyway, if you order the chocolate tea from just tea, and also there's like a little window on the top, it's kind of nice. It comes with a handmade scooper. Now, let me say this. Uh, they have directions on here, and, and I don't know if they're explaining to use their tablespoon or yours, but I would uh, use whatever measurement that I had been using for tea. You know, because if you're used to using like uh, maybe a, a perfect spoon from David's Tea or a different tea company's spoon, you can try this. It looked to me that it might be a little small or it might have to be heaped up, you know, for an eight ounce, but 
that's the whole fun of the journey. You just have to test everything, right? And see how it, how it fares and how you like it with whatever amount you're using. So I wanted to mention that. Okay, now you're probably gonna wonder where it's at, right? I should have looked at the back of this and seen where it was. Okay, it's in Vancouver. So allow time for delivery. It gets there. It gets to where you are, you know, where you are. But bear in mind, if you are in the U.S., this is not, you know, local to the U.S. So allow that it's going to take some time. And now with everything going on, it may take a little longer because, you know, some packages have taken longer. From here, I have not heard anything negative. It's always been, it's gotten there on time. Um, for me, it was fine. It came within, I, I wish I could tell you because I just don't get hung up on how long things take to get to me. I just assume if it's another country, it's going to be longer if it's out of the U.S., you know? Okay, the treasure part for today is going to be a David's tea. The only reason I'm doing this is because I thought it was a cute design. I, I really don't order stuff from there that much anymore. Um, but this was like the most last thing I ordered from there. And I just liked the design of it. It was pretty. And I do like the Nordic mug because it's a good amount as far as capacity. It's very comfortable to hold, okay? And the problem, obviously, and I know this, so I, I'm not complaining, you know, the quality of their stuff is not that great. So, you know, you have to take a chance. You know, if you're somebody that's really picky and this top shouldn't really move, and it shouldn't move, okay? Uh, don't count on. See, for me, it doesn't matter because I know it moves. I know it's loose. I know it's not going to be top quality. But that's okay. It's just for the fun of it, right? It's for the fun of it. So I don't really use this top anymore way, so it doesn't bother me. But if you're a person that likes things to fit, don't order these cups because you're, you're going to be disappointed. They just don't. They, they used to come with an infuser and the tops were more secure. A lot of things have changed. But anyway, the thing about this mug that I'm going to mention to you, and I don't know if you can see it from the glare. It looks like you almost can't. Okay, can you see the blackbirds? I've never gotten a color changing mug, I will be honest with you. This is one of their many color changing mugs. So that means when I put hot tea in here or any hot liquid, coffee, if somebody drinks coffee, the little black birds turn into bluebirds. Kind of a cute thing, but like I said, I just like the design. It didn't matter to me whether it color changed or not. But there are some people that are very much into these color changing mugs. And I can understand it. You know, I respect everybody's feeling toward what they like. And there's people that are very into their tea wear. Okay. And uh, nothing wrong with that. Just bear in mind that it's not always going to be perfect. <laughs> and if you're somebody like me who is not so careful with things, it's probably going to fly off, you know. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, I hope you're having a good summer. And uh, we will talk again soon. Find some fun things to do. And make sure you hit the bell if you want to know when I download again. Okay? Until then, I'll see you next time.